Welcome to Tales of Honor, a podcast with a mission to tell the true stories of every recipient of our nation's highest military award, the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Tales of Honor podcast. This is episode number 526, and as we wrap up the month of June here pretty soon, it'll be July before we know it, uh, we're going to wrap up this iteration of Spanish-American War recipients. I don't quite have uh, any thoughts on what I want to do for the next two months. I don't have that written out yet, but I'll, I'll think of something. Uh, If you have any ideas of what you'd like to hear next, why don't you go ahead and just uh, drop me a line in uh, any way you want to, whether it's on Facebook, YouTube, email, or over on the website. You can let me know what stories you would like to hear next. Don't have any birthdays to go over today, so let's jump right into today's Tale of Honor. Henry was born on the 10th of June, 1878, in Quebec, Canada, and he enlisted in the U.S. Navy on the 11th of December, 1896, from New York. When he deployed to Cuba in support of the Spanish-American War, he was a landsman, and his actions during the hour-long Battle of Cienfuegos would later earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, On board the USS Marblehead during the operation of cutting the cable leading from Cienfuegos, Cuba, 11 May, 1898. Facing the heavy fire of the enemy, Russell displayed extraordinary bravery and coolness throughout this action. Henry received the Medal of Honor on the 7th of July, 1899, becoming one of 52 sailors and marines to receive the Medal of Honor for that battle. Five months later, Henry left the Navy, and he joined the U.S. Army about four and a half years later, serving in the cavalry and artillery during World War I. Henry retired from the Army after almost 28 years of collective service and at the rank of Master Sergeant. As if that wasn't enough time in uniform, he then received a commission as a first lieutenant with the New Hampshire National Guard in May of 1930, was promoted to captain on the 11th of October 1931, and I am unsure of his final discharge date, though his gravestone lists him as serving during World War II. Henry Peter Russell died on the 1st of December, 1956, at the age of 78, and he is buried in Arlington National Cemetery, Section 31, Lot 6377. And that was a Tale of Honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor, and if you enjoyed the show, please be sure to subscribe and tell your friends and family. Tales of Honor is written and produced by Christoph Ambrosch, and theme music is Loyalty and Duty by Florus Music. If you have any questions, you can send an email to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com, and please be sure to visit talesofhonorpodcast.com for more episodes and information.